I was under the opinion that you could go to eBay and buy something without being ripped to shreds and have your dignity stripped as if you were walking naked through a mall. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. So you're probably aware by now that I've been curious about the Panasonic GH6 with its 4K 120p, 300 frames in HD and the ability to crop in the pixel to pixel if you should so choose it. You don't have to do it, but you could. And then the Leica 200mm Prime was kind of exciting because sometimes I travel, I go to other cities, and I like wildlife. I want to explore, and I feel like I don't, I can't bring that Sony. I need something smaller. That would have been it. But then I was thinking that 200mm Prime, that's a hefty queen. I don't know that that's my lens, and so I was debating the 50 to 200, and that's a tiny thing. That you could get some fantastic footage. And I see one on eBay, and it's a bid, it's a war, and it was like 1100-ish Canadian. I'm like, that's really cheap. See the seller, he's from Canada. So there's no custom fees if I buy it, and I'm like, you know what? Let's just offer this guy something, 1500 I figure that's probably more than you're gonna get in your bid. I live in Canada, we're friends, just send it on over. So I messaged, I did that, and he replied saying, sorry man, uh, it's a 24 hour rule or something. I, I put the bid, I can't cancel it, I'm so sorry. I'm like, no worries, I'll bid on it. I might even get it cheaper. <laughs> I didn't. So this eBay auction is winding down and uh, out of the blue, my friend called me. He could sense an eBay auction was happening and he was like, hey, what's up, buddy? Something going on? And I was like, yeah, actually, I'm debating buying this lens. I'm not sure, but it's pretty cheap. I think I'm gonna bid on it. And he's like, which one? So 50 to 200 Leica. And I hadn't ordered the GH6. I told Camera Canada, hey, I'm interested. They had one, decent deal. I was like, okay, put that on the back burner. I gotta see if this lens is available first. So we're watching this eBay deal countdown. I'm here, he's in another city. And he's like, are you gonna bid on this thing? There's three minutes left. And I'm like, what are you talking about? There's like nine minutes left. He's like, I'm watching it count down. There's three minutes. I'm like, what do you mean? Like, what? you're in another time zone or something. It's like, I'm right next to you. Your computer's effed. Something's wrong with you. Do you want me to bid on it? Because you're gonna lose out. And I'm like, maybe this is the hack. I, I get the winning bid. We found out later that my computer was not connected to any networks. It's just some random ass time and it was behind. And the eBay deal showed that it was counting down slow. So I was like, Okay, but don't go over 1400. I lowered my price. I was like, he's like, okay, no problem. So he's bidding away. He's just like chomping. And something happened at the last like 15 seconds, panic set in. He's like, oh, it's going up 14, 14, 1430. Oh, okay. And I'm like, you're not bidding, are you? And he's like, we got it. I'm like, oh, how much? And he was like, 1575 or something. I was like, what do you mean 1575? 1400 was the max. And he's like, I don't know. I got carried away. I, I wanted it. It's like, I'm the one paying me. And so I'm like thinking like, what have you done? I yelled that out loud. And he was like, I don't know, man. It's a good deal still. I'm like, yeah. Kind of, but now I have to buy the Panasonic GH6. And now we're looking at like five grand, something like that just spent on a thing I was not even sure about. I was like, maybe I'll do that to get worse. Cause it got way worse. He's going to pay for it. I'm like, okay, we'll do it. He doesn't see that eBay now charges tax, American tax. We were both in Canada. Nobody was in America here. And he doesn't notice it before clicking pay. 
and it ends up being like 1775. I'm like, what do you mean? 1400. That was my number. A one and a four, a couple zeros. What happened? That's like $700 more. And the GH6. And I need another battery too. That, and I was gonna buy a color chart. It's a lot of money. For micro four thirds, are you kidding yourself? I'm like, no, cancel the deal. That's too much. What do you mean tax? It's a used item. I can't charge tax to people. I'll just, oh, I'll sell this. Sorry, there's tax on it. They want a receipt now. I'm not a tax man. So he calls eBay and I'm on the phone with him. We're doing a three-way call. It was very sexual. And she's saying like, yeah, we charge tax now. It's a new rule as of like July something. And I was like, okay, so we're just, that wasn't on the page, not on the page. You can't just throw that at you. And I've noticed this in eBay, you buy something, it's like, okay, I'll pay this price. And then you go to checkout and it's more, it's always more. There's like little estimated fees and conversions. I don't like this world. So we're talking to eBay saying like, this is a hidden fee. We're not paying it. Like whatever you did, whatever backdoor deals you've done to charge American GST to Canadians, exchanging each other's love. That's not gonna fly here. Canadians are usually nice, but we can bite pretty hard if you allow us your wrist. We're known for it. So they said, okay, we'll refund you, but we've already, you've already been charged. And so I'm so sorry, we're gonna have to charge this guy who was selling the lens, like the GST. I don't, to this day, I don't know if he got that back. The weirdest thing, so we get our refund. It was all cool, nothing lost on our end. I see that auction go up again, same lens. And I'm like, I messaged you. I asked for 1500. That's roughly ballparkish to what you got overpaid by us. He, he just, why didn't you message me back and just say, hey, my deal went south fast. Do you want that still? Are you still interested? I was, I would have done it. 1500, that would have been relief, like hurricane relief. You're cold and windy and someone brings you like a silver jacket and you're like, thank you. A silver jacket? I want one. Don't be jealous because you're not shiny. So he puts it up for auction again and I've lost interest. I was like, what are you talking about? And he said to my friend, he's like, I got charged GST. Hopefully he got it refunded and hopefully he sold it for something less than what I would have given him. 15 hundo. You could have had the deal of the century. The cinema could have been ours. I would have regretted the purchase immediately. Just like all this stuff around me. So the moral of the story, there is none, but stop looking for gear that you don't need. I, I do need it and I do want it, but I just, I can't bring myself to reward Panasonic for another contrast detect autofocus camera. The depth from defocus technology, where you focus on the focal point in front of the focus guy. I just, I can't get behind you. Grow up, give me the same G, GH7. That's not gonna come out for three years. So a G9 Mark II, something new. No, GH6S, 10 megapixels, raw, internal, best IBIS you ever seen. I might look your way. But until then, I don't know, man. I don't know, you got a lot of competition on your hands. The Sony FX30 is cheaper, better in probably every way. That's not good. XH2S, I was gonna get the GH6 and then sell this. Are you out of your Viltrox mind right now? Huh? We got it back. That would have been dumb.
The 50 to 200 is a magical lens though. I still kind of want it. It has closer focusing distance than the 200 prime. That's what really bothered me. I was like, damn it. Cause I really want that prime. That would be magic. A 2.8 prime wildlife micro four third. You might be better than full frame in some areas. Better stabe some 3D pop cause it's like a glass. But that minimum focus distance of the 50 to 200, you kind of want it and it's so much lighter, but then it's a Tony four on the long end and I'll always be on that long end. So it's like four versus 2.8, but closer, much lighter. You could travel with that. And then all in one travel setup with the Leica nine mil. I just need a new laptop. $8,000 later, and I could have good footage of pigeons in the area that I'm near. And that's worth it. You gotta put your money where life matters. And that would have been it, so it's gone. And now I see that lens for like 1800 plus tax plus custom fees. And that like a prime is 2,500 plus tax at minimum. I found one. If you have anything that I've mentioned in today's video for sale, you send an email on over here. If you live in Canada, you moron. If you're in the States, some people, when I'm selling gear, it's like, Oh, buy it. You know, there's going to be custom fees coming to you. It's the worst deal on earth for you and me just because I'm annoyed at your loss. Yeah. So for now, we're content mildly with what we have. Not really at all. I should just get the 70 to 300 for this. Buy that back. I might. The autofocus. So perfect. From where 2.0. It never loses you. I'm going to leave. We learned nothing, but you could buy a camera conspiracies t-shirt. The funds go to Viltrox lenses. It was free. I'll review it soon. I have to, I'm a prisoner of the review cult. I'm ordered to review it in order to have it. I'll go.